First story. Sister wanted to adopt OP's baby. But OP went behind everyone and aborted her baby. Now the whole family has abandoned her, including her boyfriend of nine years. She is asking how to reconcile with family again. I 27F have a younger sister. Jenny 25F. Jenny has been with and married to her husband Jake 27M for almost three years together for five. They really do seem like a match made in heaven. However, one thing she struggled with for a long time is infertility. Jenny has wanted kids for as long as I can remember. But when they started trying three years ago, it just never happened. They tried everything, but their doctor just said Jenny wasn't capable of carrying a baby to term. They've since looked into adoption or even surrogacy, though it is way above their budget. I, on the other hand, have never wanted kids. Not when I was a girl, not now, and hopefully I'll never have any in the future. I don't know why, but children make me anxious, and childbirth is just a nightmare to even think about. Recently, I found out I was pregnant. It was a complete shock and sent me into a panic attack. My boyfriend 29 was upset when I immediately suggested ending the pregnancy. I told him I didn't want kids ever, but he was adamant on not ending the pregnancy. He suggested taking full custody and raising the baby all by himself if that's what I wanted. He reluctantly even suggested taking the baby out of my hands completely. Anything, but he was not willing to be without the baby. My parents reacted worse. They said they wouldn't allow me to hurt a living being and offered other options. They even told my sister, who just jumped at the chance to adopt my baby, that it was perfect and the baby could remain in the family and be raised by loving parents. Now, I don't doubt they'd make great parents, but I just don't want to go through a pregnancy. Every moment felt like an explosion would go off at any moment. I hated it, and I refused to continue with the pregnancy. I went behind their backs and got the procedure done. When they found out, my boyfriend just coldly told me we were done and walked out. He isn't taking my calls now. Jenny wailed and insulted me before Jake took her home. She then blocked me, and she has since refused to even look at me. My parents keep saying they are disappointed and wish I wasn't their daughter so they wouldn't have to deal with me. I just want to fix things with them. They're my family and have always been kind and caring. I desperately want to sort out their problems and for things to go back to how they were before I got pregnant. Any advice on how I can explain my feelings to my family? Ida. Guys, please. My parents, sister and boyfriend are not bad people. I know I wasn't in the wrong for choosing what to do with my body, and neither do I think they were wrong for being pro-life. My parents have cared for, raised, and supported me all my life. Through my teenage years, my studies, my relationship issues, my career problems, everything. I know they aren't bad people. I just want to know how I can explain my feelings to them because I'm confused and struggling with expressing myself. My boyfriend and I have been together for nine years, damn it. We literally grew up together and promised to always be there for each other and always choose each other. He supported me through everything. He offered every help he could think of during the two and a half months I was pregnant. He tried to understand my fears and help me through them. I understand I was wrong to go behind his back. But that's done, and now I want to know how we can move past this. He didn't leave when people made fun of him for dating me. When college life got too hectic, and we had to go days without seeing each other. When my grandma died, when I was sick, or when I was terrified of a baby. He was there for it all, and I don't want to be without him. Please help me convince him to seek counseling, therapy, or whatever it takes. I can't bear to lose him. Ida too. I posted an update to my profile. I'm very thankful for how things are progressing. Please wish me luck. Additional comment from OP about her family dynamics and boyfriend. That is not the case at all. My parents have never treated my sister and me differently. And they have done a good job raising us both considering we finish school, have good jobs and fields we enjoyed, and have long-term successful relationships. They guided and supported us both through it all, and I don't think they can be called selfish for wanting grandkids and believing in pro-life. And please. My boyfriend is literally the best thing I have in my life. We've been together for nine years. Nearly a decade. We supported each other through everything in the past nine years, and I refuse to believe the man who stayed up to care for me at nights I was sick, helped me with my workload, assignments and presentations, went all out to take the nerd of HS to prom, and stayed by my side every step when my grandmother my favorite person in the world passed away could see me as an extension of himself. Please, I don't need people telling me he is bad because he isn't. I need advice on how to work things out with him. Please. Update. Hello everyone. I suppose I should give people an update since I've gotten a lot of DMs and messages on my last post. Firstly, thank you to everyone who gave me advice and tried to see my POV. 
I wasn't happy to see all the messages telling me to be in denial. But I suppose it did get me to start thinking about my next actions, instead of worrying and crying. My parents called me yesterday. My BF yes, he still is my BF. We have not broken up. Talked to them, and actually helped them see my perspective. They had called him to apologize for my actions. But he was adamant that they needed to apologize to me. He explained that Jenny wouldn't have gotten our baby anyway since he was planning to be a single parent and raise the baby himself. So, it was their fault for giving her false hope, not mine. And he even drove them to our house so we could all talk. My mom is still a bit upset, but they apologized and promised to talk to Jenny. I'm hopeful things will come out between us. We're sisters, after all. After they left, my BF and I talked. He apologized for forcing me to do something I didn't want. He said he thought if he took good enough care of me, the fear would slowly dissipate, and we could be happy. He now sees that that was wrong. We hugged and cried for a long time. He kept saying sorry, and I told him it was nothing. As long as I had him, I would be fine. He then said he wanted to give us closure. But he still wanted to break up. At that, my heart sank. I fell to the floor crying, and he held me through it all. Cuddling me and kissing my head. He clearly still loved me, and I loved him. I asked why we have to end this. He told me he wanted kids. But if it couldn't be, he'd rather move on and not linger, as staying childless was impossible for him. I promised him I loved him beyond anything, and I'd do anything for us to remain together. But he just wouldn't listen. He kept saying us wasn't enough. He wanted kids. He apologized again and tried to leave. At that point, I was desperate, and I grabbed him and promised him I would get therapy. We could try therapy, and maybe in a few more years, I'll be ready for kids. I promised to try for him, but begged that he stay. He looked so sad. It broke my heart. I kept begging for a second chance and refused to let him go unless he said yes. Finally, he said he'd think about it. So, that's where we're at. He asked for a week and promised he'd think about it. I scheduled an appointment for therapy for tomorrow. I think I can get better. After all, the fear is irrational. And this incident has shown me that my desire to be with Will my boyfriend is way stronger than my fear of pregnancy. Will has done so much for me. He has always been there for me. I have decided to give this a try. I can't be without Will. And I'm willing to overcome anything to be with him. That's it for now. I think Will saw my post since he's on Reddit too. And that spurred him into action. Reddit also got me working. So thank you for that. Please. Please pray for me and my relationship. Second story. OP's jealous wife opened their marriage and now wants to close it because OP saw someone. I 29M and my wife 30F have been together for 7 years and married for 4 years. Last year, she came up with the idea of an open relationship to try out new things. I said it's not something comfortable for me and would like to stay monogamous. It felt weird because it came out of nowhere. We were doing well and planning to build a family together. After my reply, she insisted a lot. In the end, I decided to give it a try. Here are the boundaries she set. You should always prioritize the spouse instead of the other partner. Always use protection. Do not bring the partner to the shared house. Do not form overly emotional connections. I told her I was not sure if I could do some of these things. I am an emotional person, though I love the physical part too. She said it's okay. I will be able to do it. And it's hard for men to form emotional relationships in such cases anyway. She found a partner quickly and easily. My wife was my first relationship partner so I was not confident in myself. I did not have great chances when I was in my twenties. Eventually, after clearing out most of my work, I decided to try finding a partner in my spare time. Surprisingly, I was filled with interest from younger or around my age women. I knew maturing and aging did a great job for me, but not to this extent. I started talking to multiple people, but decided to go ahead with only one of them. When I shared this information with my wife, she seemed surprised but congratulated me. She said she was shocked at how beautiful this woman is, and I was able to get her. It has been 10 months since finding a partner, but the more I got to know them and spent time with them, the more we formed an emotional connection together. This woman is aware of my situation and respects my boundaries. I realized I had lost emotional and physical connection with my wife over time. I know one of the boundaries was about emotional connections and prioritizing the spouse, but I told her I was not sure if I could comply with some of these. I had a difficult talk with my wife last week about my situation. She immediately offered to close the relationship and go to couples counseling. But I am not interested, to be honest. She feels no different than a friend to me, and I am afraid I built resentment for her due to the open relationship situation. I told her it would just extend the misery for me, 
and I would like to have a divorce. She flipped and cried, saying I was throwing everything away just for a fling. Ada here. Comments. Sour Patch Cats. NTA. Your wife took a huge risk opening up the marriage, and you were honest with her about your emotional connection personality. She is facing the consequences of her actions, in my opinion. Ed Jane. And she already had someone in mind, which is why she pushed for it. She bamboozled OP, and then got bamboozled herself. She played herself well. Newland 17. I came here to say this. The reason she found someone so easily and quickly is because she already had someone lined up. Opening the relationship took away her future guilt from cheating. OP. This might be the case, but looking back, there were no signs. I did not check her phone either, so I think the only way for me to know is if she confirms it. Not like it matters anymore though. Two whom it may concern. NTA a story as old as time. Spouse A wants to open a relationship. Spouse B is hesitant, but ultimately agrees. Spouse A ends up surprised and upset that Spouse B found someone or many people to be with. Spouse A regrets her decision. She dug her own grave here. Judgment. NTA. Update. 16 days later. It will be a short update. I gave her the divorce papers my lawyer drafted this week, and it did not go well. She refused to separate amicably and said she'd make the process as painful as possible for me. She left the house after taking her important belongings, and I have no idea where she is. My lawyer told me it would take about eight nine months at best for that kind of case to be concluded. He also told me there would be no problem seeing each other after the divorce process started. However, we decided to limit the physical contact with the other woman for now, and she agreed it would be best for a smoother divorce process. The house is my pre-marital asset, and the only shared or marital assets we have are joint savings and investment accounts. We also have our own investment accounts, which are subject to asset sharing. I will be busy handling divorce and conflicts for the rest of the year. What a headache, especially when we could separate amicably by dividing the assets. That is all the update. A busy year awaits me, but I am sure I will be fine. As for my relationship with the other woman, there is no guarantee it'll continue. But you do not know if you do not try. Comments. Corax 40 476. Well, sorry for being dragged out by STBXW. But she fawful. I will never understand why people think they can have their cake and eat it. So foolish. I wish you all the best for the next year, but please look forward to your freedom from abuse. Best of luck. Draw the clown away 20. I will never understand why people think they can have their cake and eat it. So foolish. Easy, they don't think so. It's downright terrifying the degree to which most people seem to live life on autopilot, with as much mindfulness, foresight, and morality as a hungry dog. All they know is whatever desire they need to fulfill at that moment. Third story. OP's son commented on his sister to cover up her body properly. OP interfered and made a similar comment on his overweight body. Now his son started melting down and refused to talk to him. My 33M daughter 16F got into an argument with her brother 15M because she sometimes doesn't wear bras around the house. She's still covered, but she just wears a t-shirt instead. She said that wearing bras is painful and makes her uncomfortable so I didn't mind it. However, my son recently started expressing his discomfort and saying that it makes him uncomfortable and she should start wearing bras again. My daughter heard this and got upset, saying that she wasn't bothering anyone. He said that he was bothered by it and that she should cover it up. I told her that if he's uncomfortable, then maybe she can just put on a bra when she leaves her room. She got upset and told me that it's unfair that she has to wear a bra when her brother doesn't have to cover his man boobs. He got upset at this and accused her of making fun of him. I told him that she wasn't making fun of him and that it was a fair statement. I told him that if she's also uncomfortable, then he should start wearing a shirt when he leaves his room. He started crying and accused me of calling him fat, which confused me as those words never came out of my mouth. I felt bad and wanted to let my son know that he misinterpreted what I meant. But when I went to talk to him, he just told me to leave him alone and wouldn't stop crying, so I decided to give him some space. My wife told me that I know how sensitive our son could be about his weight, and I should have been nicer about it. This made me feel extremely bad, and I tried to apologize to him again, but he just ignored me and wouldn't even speak or look at me. I thought I was just being fair, but I don't know. Relevant comments. Introspective failure. NTA. It doesn't sound like you said anything about his weight. I wonder why he felt the need to complain about his sister's lack of bra, and why he was under the impression he should be able to dictate what she wore. And then, when he got pushback from his sister, he started crying. 
I think whatever caused this behavior in him is the root of the problem and is far more important than his sister's bra status. Is he being teased about his sister at school? Is he developing a fixation on her? OP. I'm not sure I tried talking to him about it, but he just said that he was uncomfortable with it. This was before his sister overheard. I don't think he's being teased about his sister at school, but I'll just pray it's not the other thing. Someone leaves a long comment about how they can see both sides. Yeah, I understand and took his comfort into consideration, which is why I told her that she should cover up when she leaves her room. But she pointed out that it was unfair since her brother didn't cover up as well. So I just decided that they should both cover up if they are making each other uncomfortable. She didn't get offended by this, but he did. Someone who insinuates OP is an idiot and made mistakes about having children in the first place at his age. No, I had my daughter at 16 and my son at 17. My daughter and my son aren't mistakes. Yes, we'd wish we had them later on, but we didn't. I don't need you judging me on that since that's not what this was about. Top comment. Tell your son that it is not any woman's job to make him comfortable. He shouldn't be looking at his sister's boobs anyway. Mini update in comments. Next day. Tasty Candy 3D 715. Why is brother being insensitive to sister? Then cries when it comes back to him. OP, you were fair. No need to apologize. If bro got hurt, then he shouldn't have been commenting on sis in the first place. If you can't take it, then don't give it out. I guess bro got his just desserts. Also, it's plain weird for brother to be making such comments. Sister has every right to be comfortable in her own home. This is her safe space. Make that clear to all. Sis doesn't need to be self-conscious of her body, because some Muppets couldn't keep comments to themselves. OP. Yeah, I definitely made a mistake. I talked to my daughter this morning about the situation, and she seemed understanding, and I apologized to her. However, when I tried talking to my son, he just kept telling me to leave him alone. I think my son thought I was putting down on him when I told him he needed to cover up too. My wife told me to give him some space until he's ready to talk to me again. Ada has no consensus bot, but the top comments were NTA. Update. Five weeks later. You guys were right about her bra size being too small. My wife got her a bigger bra size and got some with adjustable straps as well, because she said that the straps were also causing her pain. She however, still doesn't wear a bra when she's home, and I apologized for suggesting she do so. Other than that, she's just been her same old self. However, my son has not. This Tuesday, my son started therapy to hopefully help him deal with his body image and his sensitivity to certain topics. He has apologized to his sister 16F, but has still been withdrawn from me and his sister, but mostly me. My son spends most of his time in his room and only engages in conversation with his mom and occasionally with his sister. Despite my attempts to apologize to him and let him know my intentions weren't meant to harm him, he still barely talks to me, and the rare time that he does, he doesn't sound enthusiastic at all. Yesterday, I caught him crying. In his room, which was about two hours after his second therapy session, I tried to talk to him, but he just asked me to get his mom instead. When I talked to my wife about it, she told me that our son told her that he'd prefer she didn't tell me, and that she'd honor his wishes. I've never been more confused in my life. I feel like my son hates me now, and I don't know what to do anymore. I'm just planning on trying to talk to his therapist next Tuesday, because my wife isn't really any help. Relevant comments. Good noodle Nick? It doesn't give me pleasure to say this to his father. But your son kind of stinks, to be honest. Not in just a Reddit. Always take the girl's side, and the boy is evil way. But truly, I'm 28 years old and grew up with seven sisters. I truly can't imagine saying that them wearing any kind of clothing would make me uncomfortable. If they were sick and needed it, I would wipe their arse for them. We are family. I don't think of them in any way that would cause discomfort. And it concerns me that your son does. And he feels like he can talk about other people's bodies. But as soon as his is mentioned, he starts crying because he is sensitive. If that were my son, this is when the toughening up would begin because it sounds like he is soft as cotton candy, but not nearly as sweet. OP. My wife never liked the phrase, toughen up, and telling him that would only make it worse. His sister is definitely tougher than he is, both physically and mentally. I'm not saying that it's necessarily a bad thing, but it's kind of the norm as of now. His mother always pampered him and his sister. His sister kind of grew out of it, but he never did. I guess this is why he only feels comfortable talking to his mom rather than me. And it still hurts. Cat Samplants 424. I'm 99% sure his therapist won't tell you a single thing. And you will just make it worse in his mind by asking the therapist to tattle on him. 
as he will feel he has no safe space because you won't allow him one. OP. I wasn't going to ask his therapist about the conversations they have been having. I was just going to ask him for advice about the situation and let him know how my son refuses to engage in conversation with me. Would that not be appropriate? My wife tells me everything is fine, but doesn't let me know what our son and her talk about, and I feel like I have no one else to turn to. Helpful Reception 922 Does he get picked on for being heavier? I wonder if a big insecurity got hit by you, and that's going to take a long time to heal. You don't expect a father to hit at your insecurities. I'm not saying the son was right about the sister thing, I'm the youngest of four only boys. For one year we had a bra on Christmas, but I think he feels he got hit below the belt. OP. He used to get picked on during elementary school, but as he went to middle school, he told me that the bullying stopped. I did realize my mistake after I saw how it upset him, and I apologized to him to show him it wasn't my intention. His sister also apologized to him, but I feel like it was mainly on me as I definitely didn't handle the situation correctly. Downvoted comment. He needs an exercise plan, not a therapist. My son can be classified as overweight, but he has come a long way. He was 221 and is now 189. His goal weight is 140, so I feel like he's making progress. I don't see how exercise is more important than having a therapist when it's very easy to do both. OP expands on what he meant by, caught him crying. I never said he was doing something wrong by crying, nor did I imply it. When I said I caught him crying, that's what I did. He was crying, and I saw him crying. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.